I'm Neto Fir and I'm working for Bridges to Prosperity, directing the program in El Salvador at the moment, going to Bolivia next. I'm an industrial engineer, I worked in Israel for 15 years. Bridges to Prosperity is needed here, first of all because nature put a lot of water here, put a lot of rivers here, and there's a lot of communities, there's a lot of people that live here all over Central America, where access is, is one of the main problems in life. First and foremost is education. If you as a child had to be away from school for four months of the year, you didn't get the education you deserve. You got more market access. You can get to market. You can now grow, harvest in the rainy season that can be sold in the market because you know that you can get to the market. So I pick the site, I talk to the people, I do the negotiation. I help doing the, do the design, I buy the materials, I work with the people, so, you know, I arrange everything for the volunteer groups that show up to help us. So it's a lot of details, a lot of, uh, of uh, tasks. I'm carrying uh, buckets of sand. It's freaking heavy. Yo creo que solamente con él, porque como también van a ver unas mujeres acá, Ajá, que ellas se pueden, se pueden utilizar cuando se necesite, pues. Okay. Porque necesitas agua. We, um, we already finished three bridges here. One uh, suspended bridge that we built in El Chalcón, uh, and two suspension bridges that we built with the, with the help of Flatiron and uh, McNary. Now we have two more bridges to finish here, student university project. This week we uh, spoke to the community, we got their agreement on like the dates and the amount of people coming to work. We, uh, we found an Albanil, we laid uh, we lay out the, uh, the bridge and we started digging, the ex excavating the foundation. And today we actually started building the first year. So yeah, this is an exciting week riding buses, walking those roads, working full days in the blazing sun. There's, it's, it's, not, it's, not <laughs> it's not necessarily fun every day. <laughs> also, um, the f facilities are different. I'm not sitting in a very well air-conditioned office. I drew it already. I, um, I did this sketch of the terrain for you, or for us. This is going to be suspended, so we're going to have four cables running, two from below, holding the, the floor, and two from above and one meter higher to hold, to hold the fence. Uh, and it's going to be what they call a hamaka, a hammock style. So it goes down and comes back up. Nice. So I keep on saying to them when we work together, this is your bridge, even if someone else is financing it, and even if someone else designed it, and even if someone else is managing this project, at the end of the day, you're the ones that are going to use it. So it's your bridge. They're very proud of it. When I come back, they say, look at that beautiful bridge. It's, it's, it's a very strong feeling of ownership. The bridge is named after the place it's been built, or the community, the main community that have to build it. So, what is this? Alambre de púa. Alambre de de púa. Púa. Para que no se pueden saltar. Están cuidando su puente. There's a lot of things I learn in uh, living in Central America or living in the developing world uh, about relationships, about resourcefulness, about a com a, the, the um, interaction between people. It 
just they, they, it's just like being in a very big family where, where everyone feels responsible for everyone else. And I think we can learn from that. <laughs> I think we lost some of that in our culture. <laughs> I've learned that you can do everything with a machete. <laughs> um, you can, it, it, how, how to build, how to mix cement, how to use the materials that are um, locally available, how to work as a group, how, and these people don't get paid for their work. They, 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 they come and they work and it's, it's really hard work and it's not for money. It's for the outcome, it's for the bridge, uh, it's for making their kids' lives better than their world. And, uh, and it's, it's just fascinating. For me, the main thing is about working with the people and getting to know the people I work with. I very strongly believe in the outcome of it. So, um, it, it, it's a mission. It gives me, it gives my days a, a, a much more, m better meaning to them. And uh, yeah, <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else does one need? <laughs>